Mary Nose Hill. Earlier in question period, the Prime Minister said that the Emergencies Act should not be the quote, first or second thing that should be used to resolve a crisis situation. What were the first and second things that the Prime Minister did? And how does the failure of those actions provide legal justification for the invocation of the Emergencies Act? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, when we began to see illegal blockades in place, we made sure that the RCMP uh, was there to offer resources to local police of jurisdiction, to work with the OPP uh, to ensure that the support and planning is was there for the police of local jurisdiction uh, to take action. As time went on and uh, these uh, illegal blockades became more and more dug in, we saw that there was a need for more and more tools until it got to the point where Canadians' livelihoods, uh, Canadians' well-being, the residents of Ottawa uh, being severely impacted, threats of violence at border crossings across the country. The Honourable Member for Calgary Nose Hill. The problem with that argument is that the illegal blockades at the Ambassador Bridge and the Coots crossings occurred prior to the Emergencies Act being involved without federal help. And the Emergency Act was not needed to settle the rail blockades of 2020, the OCA crisis, the crisis at Caledonia, September 11th, the COVID-19 pandemic, or any other dispute in Canadian history. The Prime Minister has not provided any legal justification for the use of the Emergencies Act, a historic unfettered power grab. He needs to calmly tell Canadians why he has failed and what is different today. The Honourable, Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the invocation of the Emergencies Act is not something to be done lightly. On that, we absolutely agree. That is why not only uh, did we lay out the rationale uh, and uh, explain to Canadians why we're doing it and how we're doing it, not only why we made sure that the uh, new powers are circumspect, are proportional, are to be used only where they are needed, uh, but we also are about to have uh, days of debate in the House on exactly these questions so that parliamentarians and indeed all Canadians are able uh, to see that this was necessary.